Hello. Yo. Uh, welcome to Ain't Got a Clue. My name is K Curd. That is Marcus Bronzy. Uh, a lot of people like the clip about me talk- saying, hold on. Because <laughs> you realize, you are realizing you're looking peng these days, isn't it? You know what, K? Yeah, fuck it. You, anyway. You know what, K? No, no, no. Like, let's break this down, yeah? On a level, yeah? Like, you can watch the clip and you can take it in two ways. Like, is K taking the mic? And, oh, then, I, and then I looked at it back and I was like, you know what? Get you a friend that will <laughs> gas you like K Curd. You he, thought I was I was he, taking a piss at he first. Didn't it? I was like, he may turn it. He may turn it into yeah. a two footed tackle. Like I said, then he may he may he may he may remix it. But yeah, there was no two footed tackle at that time. At that moment, K, uh, you not that I needed it. I think it's probably the last thing I need is a big head. But get you a friend. Someone Whoa. said <laughs> Whoa. someone said humble Marcus hum- is funny. Humble Marcus. Therefore, they knew you when you were cocky, Marcus. <laughs> and this is is what I want to bring out on the pod again. Actually. You want to bring out the, the horrible. I don't, I, I don't want a humble Marcus anymore. You want man. the Marcus that was listening to Dipset in 07 or 06 and 05. You want that kind of yeah, camera and bossiness, yeah. 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 Were, you, were you a prick? Yeah. I am still, bro. No, you're not a prick. Um, was you're I prick was now. I I have I, you know what? I've had a few people say to you're, me. You're definitely not a prick because everybody goes. Every, whenever anybody meets you, any one of my friends or anybody no, down there, yeah. they're like, oh, Marcus is a nice guy. Yeah, that's now. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. That's so not, you're not I, a prick. I, I yeah. think back in the day, we all had no, some growing. We, we all had some growing to do. <laughs> okay, you and I, Kay, you and I. <laughs> <laughs> Matt just said, you, you, let me throw you under the bus with me. I'm not going down alone. I, I, I was annoying. Okay. I wasn't in a prick. Way, I was annoying. Knowing? In what way were you annoying? Um, I always wanted to be funny. Okay. And so it never just happened. Like I, w- it was like I was like trying to be funny. So you were always busting jokes. Tr- yeah, with the intention, like, oh, yeah. Oh, like yeah, 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 just like fucking low it. But I think it, it stemmed from. Well, I mean, stand up. Sorry, stop that. Okay, so you get it out on stage and get paid for it. Get tickets to his core cake. Kekko.com. Tour tickets are available. Um, Still, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Worrying. No, some bits, <laughs> no, some bits, are, some bits are selling out. Um, uh, and we'll be doing the Patreon raffle soon. But yeah, I think looking back, I can give you the short answer, okay? Yes. And <laughs> some people have said to me that I was just an absolute prick in some ways when I was younger. But who wasn't, eh? <laughs> a lot of us, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, a lot of our listeners. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm humble, but don't get what, it twisted. What, my, confi- what, my confidence is that still confidence in. What made you do a, a 180 and become Mr. Nice Guy? Man's really turned this into counselling, you know? <laughs> Um, so what was the moment? I think after achieving some goals in life, yeah, okay. I realised that achieving those goals is feels much more nourishing to the soul if you do it the right way and the that nice way. That is the biggest load of bullshit I've ever heard. <laughs> I think it's just, a, I think over time, dog shit. I think over time I just became a little bit less of a prick. So it's still in me. Like I remember, so... My family and my friends were there once when I was ordering a takeaway. And this is like, this is a little bit of my prickishness in me. Yeah, mm. This is so small and trivial. Don't get excited, guys. This isn't a clippable thing. This is for the man them and the gallum that is in. And whoever, Put however you them. identify. Put gallon, so I've been, on, I was on the phone to a takeaway once. Yeah, He fish, was on the phone fish and to chip a shop, takeaway. Yeah? So I'm calling and I'm going to go collect. Yeah? Who calls fish and chip Because I'm organised, bruv. Wait, yeah? wait, I'm organised. Wait, wait, wait. Because I don't like to go there wait, and be wait, like, wait. we run out of fish, man. <laughs> what, I don't want to do that. What, I want to get my fish and chips. What year was this? 1987? Yes. I picked up the rotary dial phone. Oh, yeah. But I called up, right? And I said to him, yeah, yeah, can I have, um, you know, whatever, three cods, four cods, whatever, large chips. And I said, can I have a Savaloy in batter? Which is very weird, but it's what I like. We can talk about that in a second, right? Oh, and, he, yeah. and then everyone on the phone laughed because they heard me go, what do you mean you haven't got Savaloy in batter? Have you got Savaloy? Yeah. Right. Have you got batter? Yeah. And I just went, like hold the phone away from my head for a little bit. I went, yeah, I love two of those, please. Thank you very much. That's the prickish that's in me. Like okay. that's what's in me. Give me what I want when I want it. Don't tell me no when you have the ingredients. So you are the kind of guy that goes to a restaurant. No, no, don't <laughs> see, see, guys, about to undo everything <laughs> oh, that no. he did last week. You go to oh, a restaurant. Here we go. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So you're the kind of guy that goes yeah, to a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a question. Yeah, yeah. It's not a. Yeah. It's not a statement. It's yeah. a question. Are you the kind of guy yeah. that goes to a restaurant yeah. and goes? Like, looks at the menu and goes, yeah, can I have a... And say whatever the fuck you like. <laughs> so you mean I'm in a steak restaurant and I'm like... <laughs> no, no, but like, yeah, even yeah, if you're yeah, like the steak, yeah, you're like, yeah. I'll have a... Macaroni whatever, and cheese. But the, the side yeah. isn't there. Mm. The side isn't on there. And I'll have some creamed spinach, please. <laughs> so we don't... So, <laughs> we, don't, so, so we don't have creamed spinach on the menu. I will have creamed spinach. 
sir, I, I believe that on our menu we 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 don't have cream spinach. Maybe another. Maybe you're confusing us with another restaurant. Do you have spinach? Restaurant. Do you have cream? Yes, 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 sir. I'll take two of those. <laughs> Very good, sir. Very good. <laughs> uh, nah, nah. I'm, I am, and you you've, you, you've you, eaten with me, Kay. Come on, let's be honest. You've eaten out with me. We are both very nice <laughs> to the serving staff. <laughs> I haven't eaten out with you in that. <laughs> yeah. We've we've gone to oh, fuck, don't. <laughs> we've gone to restaurants together and ordered food together. And you know, bro, the relationship that we have with the staff yes. is nothing but no, love. We we are nice to staff, right? But, but yeah. that, that, that's a different story. We're not. But you're a fish and chip shop. But you can also, batter anything, bro. Don't tell me you can't batter the savlo in it. You can, and they did, and it was nice. But I, I was gonna say, do. You, but are you ever have you ever done that stuff where it's just like I'll have this burger but can you take this off of it and yeah. add this and that's cool that's not bad so I've I've gone today I had a cheeseburger wow and I swapped out the fries for sweet potato fries mm-hmm. and I said can I not have bacon because the bacon was on it you know usually bacon's an option yeah. this came with I said no bacon this time thank you no I want to taste I the delights I thought you were a bacon man I am but today I just wanted to taste the delights of this he's, burger he's and coming cheese. over to the it's coming over to Islam. I had a few drinks last night, though, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I had a few drinks last night, so I didn't want bacon. I had a few drinks last night. As soon as I said, yeah, it's coming over. Right. I had a few drinks, actually. Actually, for yeah, all my Christian yeah, family yeah, listening, yeah, 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 I will be in church, um, well, next, yeah, next, yeah. next funeral or something. I'll be, I'll be in church saying sorry the day after I do all my, my, my vibes on a Saturday night. Yeah, me saying sorry well, on a Sunday. Did you ever do that? Did you ever do that? Go from... Uh, did you ever go to church from a rave? Yeah, man. Oh 100%. There was, a, there was an age when I was 17, 18, and I could leave the club at six and and complete church. <laughs> Be fresh. There was a there was a nightclub called Mass underneath a church in Brixton. Mm, oh, yeah. Brixton Mass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought, what an amazing name. It's a fantastic name. But it was a great concept. Yeah, fantastic. For, for people like yourself. You'd go to the club yeah. and they'd be like, Oh yeah, church. Yeah. Let me just walk in. So you mean, you're trying to tell me like two hours earlier, I had someone touching their toes in front of me and I was doing the most bombastic wine ever, yeah? And then two hours later, I'll just be there going, oh, father. <laughs> Whatever. <It's> just, <laughs> I find it funny. I do know some mates as well that used to go to church in their raving clothes. So like men would like wear their, it's easier as a man, I think, to convert into church clothes, but women that would like wear the dress, but wear a big jacket. I always, it. I always look back at our adolescence, mm. our uh, like youth mm. and they really had us dressed like accountants yeah man going out partying yeah. they really had us dressed in blue collar and white collar shirts and hard shoes waistcoats yep suit jackets hard shoot yeah it's nine just, piece suits just to go to a to, yeah. a, to a club and sweat yeah they, all over yeah those suits. like they had us people were going to Burton just because that was the only suits that they could afford a reasonable price suit <laughs> yeah I've okay. had a Burton or two in my life. I've done it. Pick up the Burton crew. They were going to Burton um, to to get a suit just so that they could go out, and it's yeah. just like, yeah. what what was the what purpose of that? Because nobody do, looked good. Do you know what the shirts were so ill fitting? Because the shirts were oh, made yeah, for no people was, that had completed yeah, puberty, no so at the age of seventeen, eighteen, was getting tailored fit yeah. shirts. So I had all the length, so I was wearing like a forty four long yeah. regular fit. Yeah, regular fit. Oh my god, the neck. The neck of mine was like hanging down so you could Look, see my looking chain. Like, looking like yeah. a hotel porter. Looking like, looking like Harry Hill. <laughs> <laughs> looking like Harry Hill, bro. My collar's that big. <laughs> looking like a porter on their first day. Yeah, man. <laughs> looking like you've yeah. been... <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Brixton... Looking like you work at the Britannia Hotel exactly. or something. Wow. Brixton Mass. Yeah, good name. Also, I came up with a great name for a cocktail yesterday, right? Another one. That's the name of it. What do you think? I'll have another one. I think I saw, I saw one called that somewhere. Fuck's sake. I was thinking you could have a virgin one, like just another one without. I thought, what would you call it? Another one? No, you just call it another one. Subtract one. uh, (laughs) Hey, we're onto it. But yeah, anyway, Brixton Mass, Raven, I did it. Um, This guy guy thinks he still owns bars. That's why (laughs) I'll pull one over a cocktail. All right, where are you going to make this? Another one. Where are you going to make one. Do you have a cocktail making set? You seem like the kind of guy that has a cocktail making 100%. set. 100%. Yeah. It has, a, has I, a muddler in it, which is where you mash up the things. What's a muddler? You mash up the light. You can mash up ingredients. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I've got a proper shaker, a strainer. Do you know are, what? Are you one of those guys that drink? has like, that has like, <laughs> <laughs> go on. you know, like, Here we go. like the Tupperware with like the mint in it and whatever. And you open it up and go. <laughs> and then Did you just pick up the mint and put it back in? No, you pick up the mint and you go. You slap it because that gets the flavours out you of the mint. You said this before. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, no, I've not got the Tupperware, but I do like Christmas time. I'm taking the cocktail set over to the family's house and we're doing it. Yeah. Yeah, man. Espresso martini, espresso martini. What, virgin, virgin, virgin. I can do that for you. Yeah, sweet. 
Got it, bruv. On it. I, I always Would find you like mock- me to make your mocktails, version mocktail? I, I find mocktails are a bit of a um, scam. Yes. Please explain, though, because I'm with you on this. <laughs> Hell, virgin mocktail, £11. All right. What, what is in there? Juice with another juice yeah. and a bit of ginger. And a bit of sugar juice on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Stirred around. No, but hold on, sir. You do get a nice glass of it, too. Yeah, but fuck that. Yeah. Just give me... You basically just made a slush puppy without the slush. Yeah, man. And... Just shake, just put a bit of like that um, salt on the sides. I possibly think that a virgin cocktail is one of the most money grabby inventions I mean, out there. It's, it's, it's so smart though, because instead of just saying here's lemonade, yeah, you go here's a virgin cocktail. Yeah, man, it sounds naughty. It's up there with speedy boarding. Do you think? It? Do you think? It's up there with no, speedy boarding. I, I like speedy boarding. You like speedy boarding? I told you this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. only when yeah. you've uh, got cabbie, you've got um, yeah. Overhead luggage. Yeah, yeah. I like because virgin, because they yeah. never go. They never put it in the yeah. in the cabin. Yeah. Anyway, I like a virgin cocktail when I've got money like that to burn because <laughs> <laughs> I'd, a lemonade is fine. Yeah, go on. Yeah, um, I was going to say, for a cocktail. is it is it sacrilegious? Yes, to have a co- uh, virgin cocktail called a Virgin Mary. There, there is Bloody Mary. They call it Virgin Mary. That's yeah, what, yeah, I think I was that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. Well, is I'm not fine? speaking on behalf Let of the church. If I'm, I, I'm fine with it. <laughs> yeah. Am I wrong? Am I gonna burn? Marcus is like, I, I'm fine with it. I have, yeah. I have no uh, clerical uh, qualifications. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Fucking, hell, I'm kind of smart these days, isn't it? You've been saying a lot of clever words. I, I want to get to that in just a sec. But also, Kate, at the bar yesterday, at the cocktail bar, I met one of the weirdest dudes ever. And By it's the funny way, Marcus has been away. About, I've been away. I'm back now. <laughs> Marcus has been away. The UK, a staycation. Do you know? Do you know what's so funny? Yeah, because yeah. Marcus has been away before. Yeah, and has still been reachable. Yeah. I was like, Marcus is having fun. <laughs> I've been working hard. Because <laughs> I saw, I saw it was like on Do Not Disturb, as it always is. Yeah. <laughs> is it bad that I live on that? You're on Do Not Disturb all the time, yeah? And then I'm like, bing, <laughs> deliver, <laughs> notify yeah, anyway. Yeah. Ain't got no fucking reply, bro. Replied <laughs> like hours later. Hey, yo, bro, what's going Listen, on? Listen, I took a day out to just gather myself because I'm tired. But anyway, look, I was at the bar last night and I went in there and a, nice. a guy turned around to me with the most, he sounded like Severus Snape, right? Turn, is that right? Is that his name? Severus Snape? Yeah, yeah Severus. turn around. I walked up to the bar and I'm like, hi there, can I have a, he went, Severus. he turned around and went, can you name all of Santa Claus's reindeer? And I was like, what? He went, can you name all of Santa Claus's reindeer? I look at the barmaid like, what the fuck is going on? She goes, oh, it's all right, I had a go as well. So then I went there and I was like, by the way, can you do this off the top, bruv? Can, can I just say? Yeah? In a previous iteration of, yeah. of, of this podcast. Yeah. We did go through that. Oh shit, we did. <laughs> All right, we got to do it then. <laughs> we got to do it. Prancer. D- d- dancer. Dancer. Rudolph. Ru- no, Rudolph doesn't count. That's why the guy, the guy was like, no, Rudolph does not count. Start again. Why doesn't he count? He's the ninth one. So there's Prancer, Dancer, Vixen. Yeah. There's th- one called Thunder. I don't care. Comet. I whatever. Don't care. So anyway, I've muddled through seven of them and he was like, Mm, not very good. And I was like, nice to meet you, mate. And I, I ordered my drinks and what I was, was like, bye. From? He was like an old British man. Yeah, he, okay. did, he did. And I was like, what's your name? He goes, I'm the angel of death. And I said, Ex- <laughs> excuse me. He goes, I'm the angel of death. And I was like, what, like Gabriel or something? He's like, no, that's small money. I'm much higher up than that. And I was like, oh, boo. bye. I was like, bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. What did fuck it? Boo. But just, just, get off the stage. But just in case you are saying, he bruv, wasn't on a stage. Just bit. in case you are saying, I, I did show you respect at the time, bruv. So, you know, if I end up down there, bruv, nice me in it. But yeah, and then I, I walked back past the bar later on and he was going, Can you name the 12 apostles? I was like, What the fuck? Like, how is this fun for you? 12 apostles. Apostles, yeah. I, don't, I, can't, I couldn't name one. 12 apostles of who? Jesus Christ. Yeah, couldn't name one. Ain't it just like Paul, Paul John, Mark, Mark, K, Joseph, <laughs> James? Do you yeah. know John? Yeah. He's one of the most popular names in the world, but every language has their own version of John. Really? So Juan is John. Juan. What's a uh, Kurdish for John? I don't know, bruv. I don't think we have John. You don't have a John? We don't have a John. Oh, man. I don't, um, know, I don't know what I Yoruba found a TikTok is. I don't know what Yoruba it. is for John. I, I found a TikTok about it. Yeah, go on, hold it. All the mic. Johns. All the Johns. All the Johns. All the jo- Is it all the Johns? Yeah. John in every language. John, John, you know when you're like John in, oh, John name variants, it comes up straight away. And go for it. Come on. Right. A lot of people named John in your life, but what if I told you, you know, even more people named John than you thought? Yeah. 
Let's get into it. So yeah, if you know anyone named John, Jack, Gene, Sean, Shane, Ian, Juan, Ivan, Evan, Jonas, Jonas, Jan, Hank, they're all Johns. Hans, Johan, Ivan. and you're here. Hey, These are all Johns. You. They're, they're all named John. So it all starts in the Bible with Johannin, who we know as John. Okay. Uh, it gets translated to ancient Greek, Johannes, classical Latin, Johannes. Johannes. And from there we get German, Johannes, Johann, Hans. Hans is John. Hank and Jan. Hank From French, is we John. go from Jehan to Jean, then eventually to English, John and Jack. Then Irish Sean and Shane. How is Shane? Sean. How? Because if you think about it, John, John, Sean. <laughs> it's there, bro. It's there. John, I do that again. John, John, Sean. It's there. We well, said someone just had a speech impediment. Sean. Yeah, John. <laughs> Sean. What should we call him? Sean. Sean. I think, you know what? And then that became Shane. I like it. That's good it's etymology. Yeah. To the Portuguese João. 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 João is John. Wow. So when you see here, João Cancelo. Yeah. Joao Felix. Yeah. That is John. I'll, if I was Portuguese, Trish I'd have to be called Joao. We get Ivan, the English Ivan, and then the Welsh Evan. Ivan. Ancient Greek evolved into modern Greek, Ioannis, Gianni, Giannis, and Giannis. And then Italian, Giovanni, Gianni, Nino, and Vani. Nino! At the time, John was known in the Quran as Yahia. There's hundreds of other variations across the world which I can't write down. Of course, most of these have female variants too, like Gianna, Joanna, Jane, oh my Ivana, God. Shobin. Yeah, after watching this video, you know a lot more Johns than you thought. So everybody's called John. Essentially. Yeah, man. Basically, well, if, you're, if you're John, yeah. you're, you're not even really John. But yeah, in Arabic, it's Yahya. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't get the glove yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's so that is so that is so that so John. So John's John, Smith, really. Everyone's a John. I don't think you were. You don't look very Johnny to me. You know, you're not. Yeah, a John. no. My name is definitely. Shout not out to all the Johns out there, though, man. But I, I just want to. Joao is the best variation of John. Joao, yeah, that's sick. Joao is the best one. Joao, Joao, yeah, is man. Joao, yeah, that is Joao. Joao, Joao, Joao. Do you remember who Joao was? No, who's Joao? She was in um what. <laughs> This podcast is so ADHD. This is <laughs> mad. <laughs> welcome. If you've pressed fast forward 15 seconds because we were like saying John a million times, welcome back to Ain't Got a Clue. He's Bruv, Kay Curd. I'm Marcus this Bronzy. Podcast and we are tired. So, this is us tired. This you know? podcast is so ADHD. It is unreal. And I anyway, I, JWoww was in Jersey Shore, but I, yeah. it just reminded me that, that a new series of Jersey, Jersey Shore came out yeah. and Paulie D's got a mixed race wife or black wife. Yeah. And I was like, fucking ill. Like, now I need to watch this. Like, where did we get, how did we get here? Was he a bit, ra was he a bit racist before? No, he was a racist. Uh, he was the one that I liked the most. Okay. And, but you could tell like, well, I think one of the other ones was a bit like, mm. but um, Situation was in UK Big Brother, remember? The situation. Si Mike, The Situation. That's a name and a half. Oh my God, it? yeah, really? Um, but anyway, um, I don't know why that's led me to, to remember as well. John Fury has called out Mike Tyson for a fight, but that's another thing. Um, what were we? I don't want to watch that. I don't want to see that at all. I Please, let's know, not. Man. No, no, let's not have any older boxers do it. I don't want to see that again. Someone's not going to be very well after that fight. I don't know who it's going to be. I just don't want to see it. Old boxers, chill, man. I like seeing boxers with their facilities. What, when about, older. what about YouTubers? Yeah, if they're young, do your thing. If you're an old YouTuber, it let's is, not have you fighting each other, man. Yeah. We're not doing... Uh, listen, we I, all I saw what happened to Muhammad Ali, right? Let's not have that. Yeah, I just, he boxed too much. I just... I'm, I'm, I don't know. I'm getting to that age as well where I watch boxing. I'm like, this is a bit barbaric, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like that, Kay. I'll be honest with you. And I've not said this with anyone with MMA. On, on board. MMA. MMA, I'm definitely M like that. MNS, yeah, with MNS. Yeah, yeah. M MMA, This yeah. isn't just any fighting. <laughs> this is... This is cage fighting. fighting. Yeah, um, yeah, for me... When I saw what Michael Venom Page done to somebody, and I've seen some of the elbows in ice socket, all that stuff is mental. Oh my gosh, okay. I have been coming across this uh, random new MMA, which is car jujitsu. It's a real thing. We'll put a link in the Patreon oh, so you can I've check it out. I've seen that. They, two people sit in a car seat I've and it's a three, that. two, one, and it's like a fight it's, scene out of John Wick or something. They use and, the and, car. And, and three guesses, listeners, as to where that's from. No. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Eastern Europe. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, so Eastern it, Europe. It's yeah. on right after the slap fight, isn't it? And then it's on <laughs> before the Listen, bottom slap fight Eastern with the women Europe, when they slap yeah. their bottoms. Yeah. In Eastern Europe, they have so many different different variations yeah. of fighting sports. Yeah. But not like conventional ones. Yeah. Ones where it's like fifteen on fifteen. Oh yeah. Just yeah. Like, it's having a scrap. Okay, guys. And you're like, yeah. yeah. Bro, like what the f like? It's just street fighting, and they've just put like. They put like fake walls, yeah, yeah. and like 
And they've got yeah. uniforms on. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. yeah that's they've got it, someone like... in a stripy top. Literally, they've been in a room and said, right, guys, no wrong answers. What are we going to do next? <laughs> How about we just put 15 people in a ring? Done. Do it. There's there's one um, fight in um, Federation mm. called PFL. Mm. And the way they fight is unlike any other boxing, sorry, any other like combat sport league. Yeah. It's an actual league. So, so there's points in it. Yeah. So there's points. So everybody fights each other. Oh my word. And that like, there's no home in a way, obviously, yeah. but like everybody has fights. Whoever has the most points wins the championship. Everyone must be knackered at the end. <laughs> knackered. Imagine you're like, you've got like 10 people you've got to fight in a year. That is knackering. Yeah. Do you know what? I would like to write a clause. You only get a couple seasons. You can't. You can't compete again. Imagine five or six years into fighting every single month. Yeah, You're going stunts. to be in bits. Anyway, okay. Back to sounding intelligent. I just want to say, okay. I've seen you um, on television recently. You were on a, a breakfast show. I'll let you, uh, yeah, I'll let you describe it. I was in breakfast show. Yes, yeah, so Saturday morning. I just want to say, okay. You really put your best foot forward. You look Do great. I? You look great. Thank yeah, you. You spoke using real words. That was the That's day fantastic. I had a new barber. Remember? Was that the new barber? Oh yes, it was. Yes. The trim on TV. Look good, brother. Yeah, Came yeah, across yeah. well. Uh, you want a bit of a secret? Yeah, go on. Some bits of it, yeah. I've got a little powder. Yeah. I put a little black powder on. Just to get it right. They put makeup on you anyway, so yeah. I was like, on the camera, I might as well make it look sharp. Yeah, man. It is. Yeah, so Do your it. thing, bro. Yeah, you that's, kept that, it real. That's, just, that's just on the pod secrets, but yeah. Yeah, sh- don't tell anyone. Just I mean, it's going on the main main sh- pod. Yeah, we have still, <laughs> yeah. I can't order fuck. fish. I can't order fish and chips again now. I'm I, finished, isn't it? You know what? Like, I honestly don't care about that sort of thing. People are like, oh, what are your secrets? There you go. Yeah. Use SPF, do all this. Use SPF. By the way, you see for, uh, by the why? By, by the why? why? By the why? By the way. Um, John, John, Sean. <laughs> John, John, Sean. John, John, Sean. John, John, Sean. That's the name of the episode. Yeah. John, John, Sean. Yeah. John, John, Sean. John, John, Sean. John, John, Sean. Um, I've forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. While Kay remembers, I just want to explain to you guys listening. I we are do recording think I'm ADHD this. now, you know. We are reco- Honestly, 100%. We're, we're no, recording no, no, no. this later no, than don't usual. Don't say 100% like, like yeah. I'm some dickhead. No, 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 dickhead. <laughs> I agree with you. And I'm just saying we are recording. This. I'm just explaining to the audience why this is so ropey, but also so jumpy. It's later than we usually record. I've been on the road. For, I've, done, I've done like a thousand miles this week. Have Kay's you? been promoting. Oh, we've got a of drive on tour. Tuesday as well, but we'll talk about that off camera. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that is long. You're, we'll talk, I can't. talk about it on the show after. <sighs> talk about it after? Oh, good. Yeah. I don't want to talk about logistics or <laughs> something that we got. We've good. already spoken about the origin of the name John and then had the most hop skippy. I, I saw a TikTok about ADHD. Yeah, go on, go on. Oh, yeah, sorry. You was, <laughs> we almost moved on. Back to the conversation about ADHD. You were saying you think you're ADHD. I right, don't think I'm on. ADHD, but I think I'm developing. Tr- I, uh, here's something, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm not saying ADHD doesn't exist because yeah. it quite clearly does. Yeah, of course. But I feel like there's a lot of people that go, I'm ADHD. Yeah, of course. Not. Yeah. What I meant by this podcast is about ADHD is the way an ADHD person's mind works. And it's like, well, you know, and then goes to something else. And then like, yeah, we're not saying we have ADHD. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've had, I've had the test. So, it? so yeah, I lean in towards, so I struggle depending on how fatigued my brain is. And let's be honest, I'm but fatigued I, I, right I, I, now. But I don't think that's ADHD. I think that's well, called fatigue. It's, it's, no, yeah, but the, the rate of my fatigue is weird. So like, if I, I read... I think that's just called being tired. If, if I read like for five minutes, my reading speed and comprehension and memory fall off the chart. Like it's embarrassing. Sorry. sorry. Like if you want to mess sorry, with me, let, let if me you want to mess with me, give me a big sorry, menu at sorry, a restaurant let, and that's it. My brain's sorry, fried. let me just pretend I'm from 1950. <laughs> you a <were> dumb dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. No, I'm not. You stupid. No, I'm not. What's one times one? Yeah. 21. So you're trying to say, you st- you dumb, dumb. You a dumb ass. Attention. What's it? Uh, attention hyperactive deficit or some shit? Uh, uh, attention deficit disorder is ADD. Yeah. At- attention. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> know. don't know. you think it's a bit of a mad thing where they get these long names yeah. for the, for um diseases that the people that suffer from them can't, it's not a disease, a condition, right. whatever. Yeah. But anyway. And why I is dyslexia t- so hard to spell? Yeah, dyslexia it's is mad. Also, you say, list, psych- psychotherapist, list. psycho the rapist, if you break the word up. That is not that good. That is scary. Um, is that not scary? That is very scary. Um, <laughs> and I've never thought about that, but thanks for popping that into my head now. Um, dyslexia yes. and lisp, yeah. two dickhead things. Wow. As in, as in like, as in like, no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, go again. Go again, guys. He's got he's to try again. The fact that they named the conditions okay. dyslexia ah, yeah, yeah. and lisp is yeah. a dickhead thing. Yeah. Like, a person with dyslexia, yeah. you're getting them D, yeah. Y, yeah. 
S. They fu- I need yeah. to fucking yeah. D Y S L E X I A. They're like, but I don't know. Lisp. Yeah. Get a person with lisp with a lisp. One hundred percent. They were like, why did you have to say? One hundred percent. They sat there and go, "Fuck! We found out. We've looked. We've 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 got enough medical information now to name this disorder. What should we call it, guys?" And so I went, "Let's call it a lisp, innit? <laughs> Let's fuck with them." And they went. Fabulous. I know, I know, that, the last I know, I know there's going to be some prick that's going to do like a TikTok about this. Well, actually, that, 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 shut up. But w- they were dickheads. Whoever done it, dyslexia yeah. and that is a dickhead thing. Is there any other illnesses like that? Man called it an illness, you know. Fuck it. You are swinging the bat. Hot. Conditions. You are, You know what, Kay? You were what, per- what, like with your lyrics that, today. You have, have you've taken out an AK AK forty seven, got the extended banana clip, and you are spraying three hundred and sixty degrees. Intention is everything, yeah, and I'm not saying hundred yeah, percent. Um, uh, other other things like that. So dyslexia, dyspraxia, like where you struggle with yeah. your uh, position in time and space. I guess. Um, there's other things as well. But if you're o- diagnosed OCD. with this stuff, yeah, cool. But um, if you're just saying it, you're not cool. Um, when I was looking at like this TikTok, mm. I was saying this is what happens when you got ADHD brain. Yeah. And somebody was like, "Oh, I should really do this work." But wait, let me just go and get a drink. Oh, look at this pile of clothes on the floor. That's normal. I've been there for two years. I should get rid of it. For that. me, that's very normal. Yeah. And then like it's like they go over to the thing and then end up like forgetting what they even yeah. got out of bed for. Yeah. Is that what you're like? I've walked into a room and forgotten what I'm in there for. Oh yeah, but I, I I just think that's old age. Yeah, but the way I the way I manage it is I write a list and I just if I get stuck go back to the list the thing that I'm doing. That's what I have to do. I'm very I have to be very I, organized. I, don't, I think there's just way too much shit of in course. our lives now, of course. and our brains can't comprehend it. You know, like people often talk about being overstimulated. It's like, well, fucking duh! Like you're not meant to have everybody in the world's thoughts available to you on Twitter. You're not meant to see yeah. that much images and yeah. entertainment yeah. and shit on fucking. Yeah. So sometimes you're just me- you're just yeah. meant to just exist like a. Fu- yeah. Dogs are very good at that. They yeah. just exist. Yeah, that's true. I remember my granddad, God rest his soul. I got on a train with him, and this is when he was still like young and was had all of his like bits in place. He knew what he was doing. Yeah, everything yeah. was blessed. He would sit on the train and happily just look out the window for two hours. I would be st- going bonkers. <laughs> He just sit and look out. He, he could just do that. He could just chill. Might read a bit. Might not. He could just look out the window but and chill. Marcus, but yeah. Marcus, look out outside. Who's this? <laughs> no, it's the white side. But still, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool. Whatever. It's just a bit uh, racist. Yeah, it's safer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why my granddad's Nelson Mandela. All of a sudden, like, it's Nigerian for God's sakes. But um, no, uh, but um, Marcus, just look at the. Yes. Look outside. Yeah. Look at the different scenery. That you're yeah. saying. Just, just observe it. You're just there, like, I've oh, got a Nintendo DS. I've got a Nintendo <laughs> yeah. game. What games should I play? Mario, Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon or Mario? I've got um, Pokemon Red, Pokemon Green, Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Gold. But I agree, Kay. We are overstimulated today. Why are you, I so, drove, why, why are you doing the Andrew Tate? I'm doing the Andrew Tate <laughs> fingers. I, dro- I drove today for an hour with nothing on the radio. Nothing. Oh, just, I do just that sometimes. The, it was refreshing, you know. It was nice. But sometimes... I go through phases where I just listen to music and then I go through phases where I just listen to radio. Mm. You listen to radio? What kind of radio? Though? Talk radio, talk, talk radio, sport, yeah, talk and sport like yeah. Five Live. And yeah, yeah. yeah, I just listen to opinions that get me really angry and then I'm like, fucking turn this off. <laughs> I don't know if I can do talk radio because I feel like I know that that's what they're doing all the time. Like, I like it, but I know that I know the ma- job to I, yeah, get into Yeah, I know head, the formula in it. So yeah. it, it's, it's a bit of a weird thing. Like, I don't really watch comedy. Yeah. Because it, it's not to say that I, I like. I'm, I think I'm too good for it, but it's like it's like kind of working it. Kind of, you're no, saying not, that. I'm not saying you that. You know, you're not saying it. It's but like you're you not. D- not you you're not, don't not watch, saying it. You don't watch boiler room sets, do you? I love a boiler room. <laughs> I lo- there's nothing more I love after my hour you of silence in the car. I listened. I listened. I listened after. After look, do you know what the dessert you know what, was? Yeah? Okay, no, no. Do you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me fuck you. Just by the way, Kay reached behind the tongue of his dark hair and pulled out a middle finger. But the dessert after listening to Nothing Today was a, a boiler room set. I listened to a DJ EZ boiler room set. It was fantastic. Yeah, I but love you're not listening to sets. some random... Oh, even better. I love putting my YouTube on, rap, typing in random boiler room sets and listening to them. <laughs> He's actually what, talking shit. What I'm not saying He's is... He's fully talking what, shit. Here's what I'm not saying. I'm not He's saying, look. He's fully talking shit. Basically, you All get right, do you watch Marquez Brownlee? Let me finish. Fr- let me, fr- let me finish do you watch Marcus Brownlee? Yeah, and his I, tech I love Marcus Brownlee. Brownlee. You are fucking... Do you know why? Do you know why I like him? Because as well as being a tech influencer, he also is oh, yeah. himself, yeah? yeah. He's he's an ultimate Frisbee player prof- at a professional level and I also support I him in that as well. I do not respect any Frisbee players. See? But yeah, but... I but, do not respect... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah. There are certain sports we don't respect. Yeah. Yeah, like, for one, I don't respect curling. 
Oh, I love a bit of curling, bro. I'm not even winding you up. I think it's fantastic. <laughs> You're pussy. <laughs> I think, anyway, as I was saying, what I'm not saying is about boiler room sixes. I'm not wait, saying you've wait, got into a point in your Marcus life where you've listened to so much DJ and I'm just like, you know what? A mix is just a mix. You get me? I'm kind of just, I've listened. Whatever, once you've man. heard one, you've heard them all, isn't it? Really? That's <laughs> what you're saying, isn't it? I swear to EZ, God. Carl Cox. Same thing, isn't no, it, really? because, but like, Tomato, tomato. Uh, you analyse a lot of stuff because I've been, I've been out with you and you've been like, Sound system here is yes. delightful. Like you're analyzing yeah. the audio yeah. functions like, and everything. I'm like the 18. What do you know? Get, what, and Kay's not listening by about three words in. Okay, <laughs> if you look over there, the 18 inch subwoofers complemented by the 15 inch <laughs> subwoofers he, he mean legit, that you get low throw of the bass and also a nice punchy kick. He that. legit this said, is as, as one touch brings in the bass line. You can hear that coming. Oh, that's delightful. He legit huh. said something very similar to that. <laughs> we were out like oh yeah if you notice they've got like yeah, three yeah, I was like yeah. well just, yeah. just drink a drink <laughs> man them if you want to make somebody's pussy very dry that's how you talk to them that's your opening line in the club you will hear them dry did you know up that and they've they will got walk like, away did you know that they've got like three different subwoofers <laughs> yeah, in yeah, it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, an yeah. 80, there's an 18 inch one yeah, yeah and a 15 and an 18 inch yeah, just for the yeah, long throw yeah, sound yeah. and the 15 <laughs> yo come back hey no I'm talking wait hang on I've not told you about the mix yet no but the uh, Oh, yeah. You've, it's, yeah, it was yeah. it was ridiculous. But um, where were we anyway? I was talking about um, <laughs> what were we talking about? You, we were you were talking about once you've seen you've seen all comedy oh, now. Players. And you're no, no, above no, no, all no, comedy. I'll, I'll piss, piss off. <laughs> I'm not above all comedy. I literally I, I own stand up DVDs. Well, I thought he was going to say I own comedy. I was like, wow, that's no, strong. No, but um, no. um, uh, buy tickets I, to his dot com. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say there's certain sports I don't respect. Yeah, curling is one of them. Why though? It's just cleaning. It is though. It is cleaning. But and like there, there are so many, there are so many people that would probably clean better than that, but they just don't have the resources to be able to go into curling or the know-how into go, how to go into curling. I, I don't. It's very know, elitist. I don't know how you. It's get, very elitist. I don't know of a curling club. It's very elitist. I, I don't know how to get into it, but I do. I do say this. Here's what I do like about curling, K. Yeah. I don't respect darts. I, I, I'll get. We'll get to darts in a second. I, here's what I like about curling, though. I like the tension that is built because once they release the, yeah. the stone, whatever it's called, yeah. it's all happening then, isn't it? Like yeah. they've released it and that's it. I, I and you need to add a little bit of curl to the right hand side. I can't watch that. I don't respect no. it. Darts, um, you don't like darts? Darts is, is not a sport. Really? It's not a sport. I mean, if you if look at the If your resting heart, heart rate is about 95 mm. and you're, st- you're in a sport, that's not a sport. Okay, so you need, for a sport, you need movement so archery, you're not rating. I I have to archery? look. At, I have to archery. I respect. They need to have a low it's heart rate. It's not a though. sport. It's, okay. a, it's a skill. Okay, a skill. I feel like archery is a skill. It's like shooting is a skill. Yeah. I don't look at it as a sport. So darts is a skill, then, yeah. No, no. Darts <sighs> is just a fat bloke going for it. <sighs> no, really? Yeah. Nah, it's physics, bro. It's like <laughs> someone physics, bro. Physics. You're watching physics. These are physicists. No. Yeah. Um, sailing, not a sport. Oh, you are you are going for it's gold. Sport. That is pff, sailing. Sailing. You tried sport. it. It's, it's not sport. so hard, bro. Yeah, but it's not. I joined sport. the sailing club it's for a like mode two of weeks. Transport. Is it? It is a mode. Of, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It is. So yeah. cycling, cycling, cycling. Is you, a sport. you like cycling as well? Okay, cool, cool. Cycling is a sport. We know we did because you're we, going fast. We're doing the section the of the show. Is, we're think... doing that section <laughs> of the show, are we? What, what was it called again? Is it the, overrated? Underrated? We're doing overrated. Underrated. But this week's version is: is it a sport? Right, let's carry on. No, because all right, so. Sailing, mm-hmm. like the wind and all of yeah, that stuff, yeah. has a lot more effect on the sport than cycling would do. Than uh, it would do with cycling. If there's a sentence that embodies "ain't got a clue," right? <laughs> In essence, no, it is because it, that is one because, of the sentences. Because you've got like the sails and all of that sort of stuff, and like, do you know what I mean? It's just like, wow, come on, man! Like, the, it, depending on the wind, and, it's a skill. It's a it's a very useful. Very respectable skill. It's not a sport. They're, they are sweating though doing that. Some of that sit when they're hanging off the side of the boat and the boat's going at like fifty miles an hour or something. Yeah, but like, like you see, you see, you see all that stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. that boat. Mm. No one's riding one of those boats in real life. Wait, it's a sports boat, though, but isn't it? No, but no, but like you see, okay. I don't think I'm going to ride a Tour de France bike down the road to you know. I see some people try to. Oh my gosh! You know what? What is it? <laughs> Listen, I love cycling. Yeah. Why is there so many cyclists with sponsors that, and, and I know you're not sponsored, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody can't be sponsored, right? Yeah. What is that about? Is that a thing where you just wear like, I, I, branded I, stuff? I respect people that go on cycling holidays. I find that, I find that, because I know, we, I'm not going to take the mick out of it, right? Yeah. 
Because I know you and I know me. Yeah. We are going to end up doing it on one day. That's what it is, isn't it? Uh, uh, you know, isn't it? And I think, fuck it, Kay. Let's, I think let's we might go end up. Now, let's fuck it up now. Let's do it. And make it be one of those things that the patron reminds <laughs> That's us. That's what I was like. Oh, hello. No, we'll, yeah. we'll end up doing it and go, guys, we're going to the Southern Italy yes. and we're going to do a cycling trip. Yes. And we're going to document it all on Patreon. Yes. Cycling and yoga. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, yeah. I fully do yoga. I do Pilates now. It's mad, isn't it? I it's did, so I did, hard. I did reformers Pilates. What was that? For the first time. Was that so for they like, put you under like that machine, like the sex machine? Yeah. What well, they strap machine, you in? But they stra- like you strap into it and yeah. you start doing stuff, and there's like different resistances. Is there an element of trust you have to have with whoever's doing that? Because if one wrong move, you could like str- strain. There's nobody your doing it. It's just you. Oh, okay. All right. You, do, you choose the resistance, and right. then you um you go onto it. But it's like the movements in there, and you're like, like. Oh wow! Like these are working muscles. I didn't know I had. Yeah, man. W- women We're make it look so easy. It. Well, some women. Yeah. Because yeah. I've seen other women in there, and I'm like, babes. Yeah. Come on, man. Like, put put the resistance down. Put the resistance. Like, yeah. Um, Pilates is probably one of the hardest ever classes I've taken ever. Shout out to my friend that took me to an intermediate Pilates class for my first one. Hot. It was a hot Pilates yeah, as well. Hot yoga or hot. hot Pilates. It was hot Pilates, bro. You. You. I are, died. You are massive as well, though. Yeah. So I don't even know if you can fit on one of those reform machines. Mm, I'll never go. Is it a weight based thing or a size based thing? Size based because like height, you have to like put it to to height. So if your legs are bent, it don't really work. Is it? I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. That'd but be funny. I'd love also, to see. I'd find it so funny do if you did that. You're not filming it. Not the first time. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> let me let me struggle in nah, peace. Do you know what the worst thing is about Pilates? You have to do it barefoot. Yeah, As in like, um, yeah, you're getting on those machines barefoot and then it's like, yeah. 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 I had my legs out and all sorts. Is it? My, Did you feel a bit vulnerable at some points as well? No, no, not really. Okay, cool, cool. Somebody but, asked me the other day, they were like, I don't, I don't think you're capable of vulnerability. Somebody really? Somebody asked me the other day. I don't know if I, in, 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 I don't know if in today's day and age that's a compliment or an insult. But Kay, just I a know, few. Just can we just do like a, a real few, man? Though. Can we do a few? <laughs> <laughs> <Can> you, <laughs> you ain't vulnerable. Yeah, yeah. Ain't and vulnerable. what? Of yeah. course. Yeah. We, what are you trying to start, bro? Toxic <laughs> masculinity um, in my head. No, so are they are they proper sports? Uh, skateboarding, because that skill and your heart rate is high. Mm, Tony Hawk's it is man. a sport, man. It is a sport. Rally car driving. Careful now. Careful. Okay. Some motorsport. <laughs> All right. I'll let that I'll let that pass. Some motorsport. How about jogging, running? Running's a sport. Proper of sport, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, cool. run is a, of course a sport. Right. It's just, not very just checking. It's not very enjoyable to watch. I have a theory. Who's ever watched a marathon and gone, this is exciting? I have a theory, right? Oh, this is amazing. I have a theory that nobody likes running. If I was a comedian, I would turn it into a joke on stage. I've never seen Mark anyone. I'm gonna run. do comedy, by the way. One day. After uh, our I, yo- after I our yoga retreat. No, I think we've got about three years before Mark starts doing comedy. Fucking hell. When I quit, I reckon he'll start. <laughs> yeah, just ghost right for me. And then you'll be doing tech reviews. Hi, no. I'm Kay Curran, and today I'm looking at the new... The new um, well, James Smith is doing tech reviews now. I'm yeah, like, fucking man. hell, he's going for YouTube. He's yeah. going for anything. He's now. going for gold. He's doing it right. Um, so yeah, proper sports. All right, a couple more for you then, Kay. A couple more. Paintballing. No, it's not a sport. Fuck yeah, sport. Yeah. Okay, cool. Golf. It's cause playing war. Golf. I mean, I I don't respect it, but yeah, it is a sport. <laughs> you are fucking. But it is a sport. It is very hard. It takes a lot of skill. It takes a lot of skill, and it is hard work. But I don't particularly enjoy it. No, really. But I, think I don't rate it as a sport. It. But it's a sport. Me and you would like a game of golf. You no, and we, you and me, we, nine holes. We. Uh, Great. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> what holes are we talking? <laughs> Look, off, off, if you guys wonder why we're like, it's off pod, we were just talking about people that always try and take conversations in the wrong way. And there was a the time when we were like teenagers where you could not say anything without someone going, yes. Oh, hold on there, partner. Hey, that's a yeah. little bit fruity, but, funky. But um, uh, golf, I don't. Yeah. It's just even just trying to hit the ball is, is, a, is a challenge. What a driving range? Fancy driving range? I, I went on there once, it was embarrassing. So it was very embarrassing. Is it because you felt embarrassed you don't want to go back or is it because you really just don't like it at all? One, yeah. it was embarrassing. Okay, cool. Two, I didn't enjoy it. You go, you went with the wrong people. You need to come with someone like me. Yeah. No, no pressure. No. I'm not that good. Can you hit the ball? Sometimes. That's better than I could. Were you doing, were you, were you, be honest now, be honest because we're really good and we're, and we're showing some vulnerability. Were you trying to use force over technique? 100%. It's, when I first started, yes. Yeah. And then I started trying to like, Going bends knees and all yeah. that. It's nothing to do with 
like strength. It's all about technique. Yes, there is a certain amount of strength you need. <laughs> I was trying trackers. to beat up the ball. So bro. you were trying to play baseball. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to fucking pun- pussy. I was trying up, to punch up the ball, bro. Like, fucking what are you doing, bro? Fucking get out of my face, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. All right. A couple more man. sports. Car jitsu. Is that a real sport? People are in cars being. That's the car jiu jitsu, isn't it? Where car, people are being each other. You see all them fighting sports, yeah? Yeah. yeah. It's insanity. <laughs> That's what it is. Imagine that it's though. Insanity. Imagine going home and watching your post match highlights if you've lost yet, and you see somebody with a fucking seatbelt around your neck choking you out, punching you in the face. I it's, can't go I, out like that. Some people bruv. pay to have that sort of stuff done to them. <laughs> <laughs> Ever the money man, Kate. I like it. There's you some, saw it yeah. some people pay for that stuff to happen to them. Like, uh, not to kink shame. No, not but, at all. But I will kink shame. Yeah. There, there's a bit I'm developing about. Really? Shame. About kink shaming? Just shame in general. I love a bit of shame. <laughs> I, but so basically, I don't want to give away, but... I've given premise. away my hot joke about no one looks, no basically, one enjoys my running. my premise is yeah. that most of my greatest qualities come from people shaming me. Yeah. So. Yeah, of course. So let's shame people again. It's a very quintessential, I <laughs> couldn't even get that word right. Quint, oh, fuck it. It's a very, it's a very po- that, uh, poignant, poignant, uh, po- po- yeah, uh, what, po- um, poignant, poignant thing about being a British person is is t- taking a piss out of yourself. We do it. We did it the best first. Everyone does it now, but UK people they like to take the piss out of themselves. They self de- do self deprecation. Self deprecation. Uh, yeah. If you want to hear more self deprecation, please mm. sign up to the Patreon. There is over forty hours of bonus content on there. I think there's more. You know, okay. There's probably. I think more. it's like eighty hours. You know. Okay. I think it's like 80, you know. Start there's, again. Sorry. There's a lot of bonus content on there. <laughs> you can hear more conversations like this, yes. um, you know, that are not rooted in fact, but are quite funny. Um, and the more of you that are on there, it will allow us to do better things on there. Yeah, yeah. Should like, we shout out some of our new patrons? Go, go shout them out. Actually, no, okay. What, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let time. you finish selling how amazing our patron is and so then we'll shoot some shout outs. The more people that are on there, mm. the more we can do. Yes. Basically, it's the price of a coffee. Mm. Get involved. Mm. There's like one, one or two spaces left for the summer trial. Yes. So what we're doing? Do your thing, right? What's the bonus? Let thing, though? me land. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's also a bonus thing on the Apple Podcast thing. Ba-da-da-da. Press bonus episodes. More of a clue. Whatever. More of a clue. More of a clue. Press that, and then you can get on more of a clue in it. Mm. Try that if you want. Mm. But you get video on Patreon. Mm. So do whatever you want. Patreon ain't got a clue. Pod. Marcus, run the rhythm. Also, um, just before we do that, though, just just to be clear, what Kay's talking about is we actually have as our summer special, we're actually going to be doing a giveaway of a pair of tickets to K Curd's tour, kcurd.com. If, if, you want, if you want to do it the hard way if right now. But um, yeah, if you sign up to our Patreon, we have we're like three spa- five spaces. They're going to be gone by the time the pod comes out. Yeah. Back to me, have a look. Uh, and we're going to be giving you away. Even, you might even come backstage if you're hot. No, oh, you're not. Jesus you're not. Christ. We're not doing wow. that. We're not wow. doing that. Why did that come out? Wow. Why did that come wow. We're all going to have loads of sex. It's not, it's not happening. Okay, that is cool. not happening. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Who said that? There's a Pilates machine there. And <laughs> there's some straps. What's that? Your hamstrings are kind of tight, you know. Mm. Get on the Pilates machine right now. Yeah, Wait, do you know that? Do you know that Amazon for Pilates? They've got 18 inch subwoofers and 15 inch ones as well, you know, for throwing the bass. Ishan. Get on the. Ishan. Ishan. Get on the, get on the Pilates. <laughs> Ready been on it, mate. That's what you should have been like, fucking great, mate. But yeah, so um, we're giving away a pair of tickets to K-Cuts tour. If, and all you have Mark to do is just join trying to fill the nine patron. holes in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, wow. Um, K, we're giving away a pair of... Let me get this out. Let me get out. Do you think Ishan, Ishan is like the, the Urdu way of saying John? I bet he's, <laughs> I bet he's, I bet he's fucking John. I bet you he's a John, you know. We need to find out. We need to get him back on the show. Uh, so yeah, basically, yeah. if you join the Patreon, you're in, you're in, <laughs> you're in the hat. You're in murky waters. Okay, to you're, in the the <laughs> you're in murky so waters. So press the fucking button. You're in dirty water. Press the button in the show description. Join it, or you I, can join Apple Podcasts yeah. as well. And we also do videos. You get early episodes. You get bonus episodes. It's fantastic. Shout out to the following people who have joined us. Tom Stallard, big up yourself. Big bomba clout, Tom Stallard. Yeah. You gotta give the same energy for everyone. Yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Jennifer Fox. Jennifer Fox. <laughs> Foxy. That's one of them names where you're like, she must be fire in it. What Jennifer Fox? Yeah, you know when you see them, like, Jennifer Fox. Ooh, it sounds like a it sounds Imagine like a nineties like you a nineties actress. If you said to me name, like, yeah. yeah, I'm going on a date. What's her name? Yeah. Jennifer Fox. Ooh, mm. 
Come over so here. So you're gonna have to be a pervert for all these names. Kimbo Gruff. Ki- that's a fighter. that's a that's a fire. <laughs> Corner, that is, is he's doing he's doing car jujitsu. Kim, yeah, 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 yeah. Kimbo Gruff. Kimbo Gruff. Kimbo Gruff. Yeah, Kim, yeah, yeah. Kimbo Gruff. Yeah. He knows how to do three different types of fights. Is Kimbo beep beep gruff? Why is it called beep beep gruff? Because he smashes someone's head against I, the fucking exactly. horn. That's his finishing move. He know, he knows <laughs> four fighting styles, bro. <laughs> Kimbo Gruff. Yeah. You can't just being called Kimbo, yeah, yeah, right? Because yeah. Kimbo Slice, Slice yeah, was a yeah, yeah. was a fight. But just I Kimbo, I'm not fighting anyone yeah. called Kimbo. Anyone called Kimbo, you get, and, and you do you get know what the maddest thing is? He probably goes, "Yeah, call me Kim." Yeah, call for me Kim. sure. Yeah. Hey guys, Kim's coming over today. Oh, love Kim, love Kim. Really nice guy. Kim, what's your name? Yeah, my name's Kimbo. Kimbo. Kimbo's picture has got a beard on it though. I've Kimbo got selector. Kimbo selector. Shout out to Farhan Subhan. Big up Farhan yourself. Shubhan. Shubhan. Yes. Well, Big up yourself. Uh, uh, that's a very yeah. It's it's a nice name. Asian name. Definitely John. Go. Definitely John as well. That's uh, yeah. Farhan. John. Farjan? Farjan? No, Farhan. John, John, John. It's just the accents, isn't it? In, yeah. in, 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 I, re- I reckon in like, in, in Pakistan, it would just be Farhan. But if it was like Iran, it'd be Farhan. Mm. Be some Farhan. What the Farsi way of saying yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if the Arabic way, Farhan. Anyway. Aaron but, Fraser. Definitely a that's John. just that's a Farhan. That's a Farhan. <laughs> Fraser Farhan. I got it. Yeah. Far, yeah. Aaron is just Farhan. Yeah. But but um white for the, yeah. for the rest of these. Wait, I'm is Aaron say, actually even white? I don't know. A- maybe. Aaron. A- a- Aaron. A- Aaron. A- Aaron. That's a- Aaron. All right. For the rest of these, K from these names, would you fight them? Yes or no? Oh, okay. This is it, right. Danielle G. I'm not fighting a woman. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Sorry, Dan G. Dan G. I'll <laughs> punch up Dan G. Yeah. Shout out to Daniel. Mohammed. Elino, I'm not going to get that right. Can you help me out? That? I want to make sure I pronounce that correctly. El Niel. El Niel. <laughs> sounds, sounds Egyptian. Okay. We got my sounds Egyptian. Egyptian. He might, he might like, he might, he, might, cricket. he might fight like, you know, a bit underhanded. Okay. All right. He might know some skills though. Sweeping races. Re- no. well, still cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's keep it pushing. <laughs> no, no. What I'm saying is, I re- he's Egyptian, in it? So I yeah. reckon he, he's, he's probably got like, He's probably like very slippery when you're fighting him. Again, one so, of them ones. Like, okay. so, it's not slightly, it's not racist. slightly less, slightly less racist. <laughs> <laughs> right, we have another fox. We have another fox, though. Would you fight Emma Fox? Emma Fox needs to fight Jennifer Fox. I reckon they need to have a fight. Are they, on are they sisters? Uh, who knows? If they are, shout out to you for not passing. The Jerry. Fox sisters. Uh, is it bad if we call them the Foxy sisters? That's fine, yeah. I mean, they may not be related, but you are now sisters. Fox. Connect on the Patreon. Find out if you are related. Uh, Hari Abdul Rahman, big up yourself. Oh, re- yeah. We, I think we mentioned it before. Oh, did we? Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, um, Holly Hallam and Luke Dunn. You find them? Romeo. I'll fight Luke Dunn, bruv. Is it? Nah, I'll Luke, Luke Dunn. Dunn, I'll Dunn, Dunn, Dunn is Dunn dance. Luke Dunn is <laughs> bruv. I've done his dance Oh um, by the way All of this is hypothetical If I actually meet Any of you in person Could you imagine Somebody taking it seriously Like Yo brother I heard you wanted to fight me or not? You, you can try and fight me But trying to fight Marcus Is long Yeah, yeah. That is for, What just me Literally I'm not a fighter Fighting no, is easy Just literally It's long His it's reach easy. is mad you, Like easy. if he jabs you, you You're just not getting you, You're not getting close You have to like I'm not, like, I'm not gonna get close fighting Because I am a lover Not a fighter I'm an old man do yeah. you, Who would you Do you reckon you could fight David Hay I could if if you put me in the ring with him, yes, when the bell goes, technically for those first twenty seconds, I am fighting David Hay. And also no, but for I'll, the first twenty seconds, I have a chance of winning. Not so no, about no. how big that is. Would Could you I fight him? F- no. Oh, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely. Wait, not. I'm not even saying the rules yet. Would you fight him if you were allowed to use your, your feet and your your arms and he was only allowed to box? No. <laughs> no. If he was not allowed to box. And I could use my feet and arms. I'd do it. Now I'm in with so a chance. So what is he meant to do? Just He could duck me so fast that I probably throw a shoulder out and I'm injured and I'm out of the fight. <laughs> can you imagine? Can you imagine? I would never fight David Hay, by the way. I've met David Hay in person. I've He's been, fucking wham. He is so huge. I have like, he, yeah. it's, it's ridiculously huge. Yeah, he's, he's, he is ridiculously huge. Is it's, it? Just muscle. Yeah. At that age, just mu- there's no fat on him. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, but he, he he does those kind of diets where it's like I'm not having fruit. Like, bro, like, come on, man. Yeah, he's in he's in rid- any ridiculous shape, ridiculous. Yeah, shape. but it's like it's like we're well, not even fruit. Yeah, no. it's like, come on, man. I've I've lived like that. It's but not you living. didn't have fruit. 
I, at one point, I we'll, love fruit. We'll, t- we'll talk about it in the Patreon. I am about my a loss. whore for fruit. Wow. I am a slut for so fruit. So would you do, you do it for a cherry then? N- not like that. You do it for a cherry. But blueberries, do, oh, raspberries, blueberries. Okay. strawberries. <laughs> I love the way that you were like, I was like, would you do it for a cherry? You're like, absolutely not. But blueberry though. <laughs> but now we're talking, bro. Hell, hella antioxidants. Mm. Granny Smith apples. Yeah. Do you like a blackberry then? Blackberries are all right. Raspberry? Not my favourite berry. Yeah, blackberry. It, oh, go, it goes this. blueberry. We need to say this for another Patreon. episode. We do it. Patreon all, thing. Get the we fuck get, on a Patreon before, in it. Before we get out of here, though, um, shout out to Kimbo Gruffy. Said, "Hey guys, I just want to say, definitely appreciate the extra patron. Shh. Keep on doing your thing. Always puts a smile on your face. Um, I'm um, I'm an Ips. He says Lieb Group. I don't know how to say that. He's an Ipswich waste man living in Berlin. So he's in Berlin right now. Shout out to the Berlin. Berlin. Ich bin ein Berliner. Yeah, man. There ich we go. Ich bin ein Berliner. And we will be doing an AMA ich soon. Ich bin ein Berliner. Yeah. Ever since I came here, I got thinner. <laughs> uh, and also, Shout Matthew's out you saying and your we, should, we should do it. We should do it. Um, underrated, overrated. Every single pod, we've already said that. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Uh, right. Let's go and do Patreon now. Thank you very much. Shout out to the sister foxes. Connect. Find out how related you are, and um, we'll talk about that more in the next episode. Love you. Bye. Bad man too.